This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Snail versus Bird. Miss Snail, you brought your boyfriend here because of broken promises, and you're asking this court for $2,400. Yes. Tell me about those broken promises. Yes, Your Honor. Bird took advantage of me. He has cheated on me throughout the whole relationship. And yes, I have brought him here today to get my money back. I did not take advantage of her. Uh, Cena has been uh, controlling the, the, trying to control the uh, relationship with uh, giving me gifts and giving me things and whatnot. I don't want anything. How many years together? Two. Two years together? Yes, sir. And she's controlling it through gifts? Through gifts. I want you to control me through gifts. <laughs> I got a list. You got a list? I got a list. We'll talk after, but I want okay. that kind of control. All so, right, tell me about this. How you control a man through gifts? Well, I have taken Bird on helicopter rides. I have bought him jewelry, taken him out to dinner, food, everything. Anything that Bird has asked me for or needed, I have been there for Bird. How did you all meet? I was working um, as a part-time job at a security firm. When I met him, we talked. He made me feel like I was in high school, like I had a smile from ear to ear. I remember one night we was working, I told him, I said, Bird, I want to do you dirty. He said, <laughs> he said, what? Okay, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what made a girl jump off like that? The way he spoke to me, like his whole country accent, it just ah. drove me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a smooth, kind of cool thing working over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, what it, yeah. that's what it was. So at that point, he told me to uh, elaborate. So I was like, Bird, I just want to do you nasty in so many different ways. <laughs> and from that point, one thing <laughs> led to another. <laughs> and uh, this started off with Tracina bringing me snacks like chips, pops, juices, water. It's true. The way to a yeah. man's heart. Yeah. Through his yeah. thumb. That's okay. right. Snacks, drink, water, <laughs> do me dirty. That's, yeah. That's, that's how that's the path. Woo! Okay. Exactly. So right. at that point, I mean, we we was in the front seat, in the back seat, we did whatever. It was to the point that we were what? racing down the expressway to meet at my house. Like, <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Were y'all supposed to be guarding something? Yeah, we supposed to have been guarding the building. We were. Okay, so the okay. building, we were. Y'all kicked the building to the curb. No, we was, we was watching. No, we... Okay, so what happens? Pretty much we was just friends with benefits after that. So did it ever move, in your perspective, beyond friends with benefits? No, because I told Cena that I wanted nothing with a relationship right now. Okay, so in your mind, did it move past friends with benefits? Yes. Okay. Once we continued to do what we was doing, he kept on coming back, and that's when he told me, Cena, I don't have no problem to be with you. I said, so you telling me when he bought me a bracelet that I'm your woman? He said, this is what you want? I said, yeah, this is what I want when he bought me a bracelet. I bought you the bracelet because that's what friends do anyway. No, baby, Friend, no. Friends, friends no, will baby. sit back and look out no. for each other regardless. No, baby. And the charms on there say, I love you. The charm well, that was on there was one was a heart and the other one said love. No, not... it said I love okay. you. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm no Einstein, but if a man, preferably this one, gives me a bracelet that has a, a, a heart on it and a love on it, I'm gonna think he's not just talking to the people in the air, he's talking to me. Mr. Bird, I mean, it's looking so far like you're in a relationship. <laughs> really? Like I said, it was just out of the kindness of my it, heart. It That's was not. It. So because... were you ever in a relationship? No. Oh, okay. In your mind, you're in a relationship because you got a bracelet that says heart and love. I had a bracelet. Where did this go wrong? It went wrong when he had moved to his family house and he was sitting there on the floor. And I said, baby, ain't no man I mess with have to sleep on the floor. I will get you a bed. I had a mattress to my car for this man. So we wasn't no friends. Yeah, I don't but think he's talking about it. took me to get to his house. And you I had to hold the mattress like this to get it on the so... expressway to his house. For two hours? For two hours. <laughs> I'm holding it, driving so... like this. So... About to kill people and so... everything. So... I wasn't none of his friends. Okay, Mr. Bird, come on now. Bracelets with yep. hearts on them. Hmm. She's driving two hours of the mattress strapped to the top of her car for That's you. That's a beautiful thing Did... with that story she just gave. So, I, I didn't. I did. Uh, did. 
It's a beautiful thing. Uh, okay. It is a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know, because not a lot of women would do that. It's the truth. It is. Do you know the kind of woman that would do that? One that's in a relationship. Exactly. All right. You have brought Mr. Bird here because you felt he was scamming you. Yes. And you are asking this court for $2,400. Yes. Please explain your lawsuit. Okay, so Bird came to me because he had a buy previously. Okay. He lost his job. Once he lost his job, he could no longer make payments on the bike. He said, well, you know, if I found a bike, you know, you can go ahead and pay for it, and then when I get my taxes on February 28th, you're going to have your money. I said, okay, fine. He found the bike. We both went to the bank and got cash, and he had cash in his hand. Do you have any proof that it was a loan other than him, say him saying, I'm going to pay you back? Um, the promissory note, but he didn't sign it. He refused to sign it. Do you have the promissory note? Yes. Yeah. Would you get that, Rob, please? Yes, Sean. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. So you had... You drafted up a promissory note for him to sign... Yes. ...because it was a $2,400 loan. Yes. How did he talk you out of not signing this? He said his word was his bond. This is exactly what we tell people all the time. Get, get a promissory note, mm -hmm. but we also say get it signed. Yes. 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 But your intent, very clearly, is to have a loan. This was not a gift. No, it was not. And he knew that. And he said when he got his taxes, he was gonna give me my money back. Three days before it was time for him to return my money, he gonna tell me that the, the IRS had took his taxes. I'm like, really, Bird? Really? Did she tell you that this was a loan? No. <laughs> what did she tell you? She told me that she was gonna help me get a bite, which she did. I told her myself that I would give her her money back. However, as time went on, the IRS had held my check for a moment, and then they, they uh, told me that I couldn't get it. She said she would help you get a bike. You said, thank you, I will pay you back. Hmm. Right. Okay, at that point, it looks like a loan. Hmm. It is a loan. Because you don't exactly. pay back gifts, that's a loan. Yeah. Now... You're right. Right, you're okay. You're absolutely right. Regardless of what happened down the line, I mean, at that point, you've agreed to pay yes. it back. Yes, at okay. that point. But once the, the IRS situation happened, I, would, I just had to come forward and let her know I couldn't give it back to her right then and there. And of have you course. paid anything back? No. I haven't paid anything back because she withdrew from that. She sat back and told me, Bird, don't worry about it. Take it as a gift. I didn't wash my hands of it. So, Miss Snell, did you forgive this loan? No. Did this conversation happen? No. Anything close to this conversation? No. Happened? What did you tell him about his I inability to... I want my money. Right. But well, he told you that he wasn't going to be able to pay you. What did you tell him? He said, Sena, so, you know, I got my car note and things of that sort, so I just don't want to be broke. I said, Bert, you got to give me something. You have to give me something. Bert didn't try to give me anything. Snell, you know that, dog. All right. Conversation but, Miss Snell, let like me that. ask this. All right, Bert. If you're in a relationship, why are you loaning money to someone you're in a relationship with? Don't you just give it as a gift? I took this man to Las Vegas. That was his gift. His clothes was his gift. Here's the thing. She, she was very clear about what was a gift. A woman doesn't draw up a promissory note for a gift. I want to know what you said when she handed this to you. Mm. That's my first time seeing that. You have no, never not. seen this before. No. All right, Bert. So you didn't tell her, my word is my bond. I did. Huh. Okay, why so did you why, tell her why that? Why did you tell her that? Because at the time, yes, I was supposed to be giving her her money back. So but when did your bond I... kick in? Because you ain't paid her back. I didn't have to after she told me I didn't have to pay it back. All right, Bert. Let me ask you something. Yes. If you find out he hasn't cheated, do you still want your money back? Yes. All right. <laughs> do you want him back? I love Bird. I love Bird with all my heart. So that's a yes. Yeah. I love Bird. You want the dirty Bird. I want the dirty all Bird. Right. <laughs> all right. When Bird was caught on his bike with another woman on there. You seen a woman on a bike? On your bike. It was the bike I bought. I know what I bought. And I sat there and I seen him and he had the woman on the bike. So when I tried to follow him, he pulled off. I Mr. Did. Bird? First of all, wasn't no woman on my bike. All right. There was no woman on my bike. You when... never given a woman a ride on your bike? Not while I was talking to her, no. Hmm. Okay. Well, you said while you were talking to her, so that's a relationship, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I exactly. Said, but did no, I no, not no. bring up the point? Exactly. All right. What other reasons do you have to believe that he was cheating? Bird had became distanced. Bird used to be at my house all the time. 
He had stopped calling me. You know, I had to almost pop up to his house. And then I had went to do this drug testing for this third job I had to pick up. So an infomercial came about, basically telling <clears throat> you had to put this app on your phone. So I put the app on my phone. And you okay, put what your is this phone. app and what did it do? The app was a phone that was connected to my iPhone. So it gave me my own personal number. So at that point, I'm texting him. So he responded back to the text. I was pretending like I was some lady named Lady K. So he's steady going back and forth. Because okay, of me. let me make sure so, I got this. You have an app on your phone that gives you a different phone number. Yes. And so you're using that phone number yes. to... Contact yeah. him. And, and he, you, you basically catfishing him. Yes. This man been texting this woman back and forth, which was always me. I said, so are you in a relationship? He said, no, nah, I'm only committed to my son. I said, oh, okay. I go to the liquor store. I met this pretty girl. I asked her, I need your voice because I have to sit here and um, trying to figure out what's going on with my guy. She said, I'm down for whatever. So you go and see it. Now, this is what the girl say. Right. So she get on the phone. Uh, you know, and... women stick together like that. Yeah, so she, she went straight so she gets... Yeah, so she get on the Big phone. She's talking work. to him. And she was like, yeah, I'm in the charger and, you know, so on, so forth and all this. He said, OK, I'll meet you in 15 minutes. So I go across the street. I'm in the bushes like this. <laughs> you know, waiting for him. So when he came, he pulled up. I got my car. He drove. And I, I hit him. I hit okay, wait a minute. What? You are hiding in the bushes. Yes. Because you've gone straight CSI. Yes. And you've set up a sting operation. Yes. And he takes the fall and yes. comes. Yes. Come on. Mr. Tell Bird, me about what you got? Mr. Bird. Bird. Yeah, that one dead in the bag. First of all, the way she texts, she used the same way that she texts me regularly. So you recognize the I words recognize the you... way that she was texting, so I knew who it was. So basically, I started playing into her game. And I called three to four times at least. Uh-huh. And Each in. time, she'll, she'll ignore the call by saying that she's driving or she's busy, she's doing this. All the time. I want you to pick up for a reason because I know it's you. Stop playing. So when I got there, yes, as I, pull, as I pulled up to the designated spot, whatever, I wasn't looking for a charger. Hmm. Hmm. I was looking for her. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah. clearly. She runs straight into me. Tow his bike. I'm on a, I'm on my a motorcycle. Bike up. It's just the fact that she didn't see no harm in what she did was wrong. You're tearing up. That hurts you. Yeah, I got a son. She could have took my life. When he told me that night, you tore up my bike. It wasn't about his life. It wasn't about none of that. His bike. He kept on speaking on his bike. It was my bike. But Miss Snell, was he on the bike when you went ran into? No, him? he had got off and I hit it. Right, uh, Miss Snell, you still have unanswered questions about whether he was cheating. So to get to the bottom of this, the court is going to call former special agent of the FBI and licensed polygraph examiner, Mr. Kendall Scholl of Kendall Investigations. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Scholl into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. <laughs> Mr. Scholl, how are you today? Good, thank you, Your Honor. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Now, Mr. Bird has testified in court that he has not been with any other women. And you administered a polygraph examination for Mr. Bird. Is that yes, correct? Yes, I did, Your Honor. All right. <sighs> Mr. Shell, you asked, during your two-year relationship with Miss Snail, did you have sexual intercourse with any other woman? What was his response? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector reveal? Your Honor, the lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Hmm. <laughs> Miss Snell? Yes. How are you feeling? I'm hurt. Tell him how you're feeling. Bird, you know I love you on the bottom of my heart from day one. It was nothing that you ever asked me for I wouldn't do for you. And you wrong. You wrong. I'm so disappointed in you. Mr. Shell, you also asked him a question that will help us with the lawsuit. You asked, did you promise to pay Miss Snell the $2,400 loan she gave you? Is that correct? That's correct, Your and Honor. And what was his answer? He said, yes. 
So he admitted that he was going to pay her back the loan. Yes, he did, Your Honor. All right. Well, with respect to the promissory note, all the evidence before the court, it appears that it was a loan. All of the indications are that you intended to pay that loan back. And so, uh, based on that evidence, we are going to find in favor of Ms. Snell and order you to repay her the $2,400 for the cost of the bike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Byrd, I mean, do you want to be in this relationship? Not no more. Huh. It's better for me to let go. Well, and if you want to let go, that's fine. But if you're in another relationship with anybody, you have got to be honest in your relationship. Exactly. This thing about, well, she thinks it's a relationship, but I think it's a friendship. There has to be a meeting of the minds. If you're ever going to have any kind of happy relationship, you both got to be on the same plane. <laughs> you all are married. You've been together for 15 years. You have two children together. But there's a cloud hanging over your marriage because you believe she's cheating. Mm. Is that right, Mr. Hughes? Yes, sir. Okay, you've opened this case today. Tell us why you brought this case. I opened my case today because I believe my wife has cheated on me. I believe that she... We argue all the time. She, uh, posts sexy pictures on, on global media. Of, it's uh, my page. Uh, I can post uh, what I want. Hold on, hold on. My wife showing her goods to the whole world. She's only supposed to be for me. <laughs> And you my, got a problem with it. I have a problem with that. And if Stop she cheated on me, insecure. I want it to be over with. Okay. All right, Ms. Hughes, you are... You, you ready to go. So let's hear what you got to say. Why are you all fighting? Because he says you're fighting every day. Well, we fight for a lot of different reasons. One of them, he cannot provide for his family. He cannot keep a job. He's always accusing me of cheating. If you would do what you're supposed to be doing, then there would be no room to accuse me of doing anything. <laughs> so, what are you here to prove? Because are you I'm saying... here to prove that I'm not cheating. All right. Mr. Now... Hughes, what have been the warning signs for you that Ms. Hughes is cheating? The warning signs are sometimes we be in the bed together. This has happened with me. We've been in the bed and she's texting another guy while we in the How bed. How can you possibly yeah. see me texting another right? guy in the bed? I mean, you have... Second what? time is What kind of eyes do up... you have? Because I check your phone. You think she is or you've seen it? I've seen it. She did it in front of me. She'll hold her phone this way and be texting. Okay. I believe and that in you're the morning, insecure. In the morning... That's what I believe. Ms. You're Hughes, insecure. Oh, come on, Miss Hughes. So, did you submit a copy of that uh, recollected text to us? Yes, ma'am. Let's take a look at that. So, this is your recollection of the text that you saw. It says, I miss you and did you get the pictures? Yes, ma'am. And that was to another man? Yes, ma'am. All right, Miss Hughes, did you text another man saying, I miss you? Did you get the pictures? I don't recall that. <laughs> Have you sent pictures of yourself to other men? Yes. I, um... I, I'm sorry. If I did, we wasn't together, so I'm well we're within married. my right. Oh, so what? We married? Why was you at Myrtle Beach for two whole days? Miss Hughes. Miss Hughes, I know you think you answered my question, but you did not. I've been doing this a while. Plus, I got three boys. But no, I did not. You have never sent pictures of yourself to other men? Not when we did, what was together. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of pictures have you sent other men? Um... Pictures of, like, selfies, you know? You know? Dress how? <laughs> well, let's take a look. So, is that a picture <laughs> that you sent? Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> No, 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 I don't. no, that's no. not what I did. No, that's not one of the pictures that I sent. No, that's not a one of those either. No, that's not one of those either. But here's the thing. Do you hear no. what you're saying? Because you're saying not one of those. Not one of so those. that means that you have sent I some. have sent pictures before. Were they sexy yes. pictures? Or were they similar to this? I mean, pretty much all my pictures are sexy. You know? Right. Now, what if he sent similar pictures to a woman? The In male, his underwear, the male equivalent of that. How would care. you feel about that? You wouldn't care. Mm -mm. You would not care if your husband did that. No. I said. You're, you're better said. woman than most women. Yeah, I, I know that's you. right. All right, but you are, in your mind, this is inappropriate for your wife. Yes, ma'am. Are there any other warning signs? Yes, ma'am. I had came home from work one day and uh, the room smelled like sex. It smelled like sex. Kill the violins, and, people. And it smelled like hot heat sex. And Which, room? <laughs> Which room? Which room? Our bedroom. Your bedroom. Yes, sir. You get home, long day at work, you come Bed home... Bed messed up. And what did you say that when you found out? That is a lie. I, I said to her, I said, 
Baby, the room smelled like sex. What's, what, what's going on in here? She oh, told God, me so... she was working out. I guess working out well, smells I like sex to me. <laughs> did this happen? No, that did not happen. Well, did he come home and say the bedroom no, smelled like all, sex? No, first he wasn't at work, so... Well, that's, that's not... either here th or there. The and if my whole house was filled with people, so how can I have sex in a house full of people? Lies. All right, Miss Hughes, you That's have not answered a single question. Nice. Yeah, Look, she's a good so liar. A... Is this what she's doing? Is this robe black? Uh, this room is yellow. <laughs> okay, but I'm asking you, is this robe black? Well, the carpet's blue. What I want to know is, is this robe black? Well, what I'm looking at is over there. Okay, <laughs> that's how your answer <laughs> sound. You are, you're being asked direct <laughs> questions. <laughs> And you are going all around the moon not answering the question. So I'm gonna ask you yes or no questions, and that's all I want. I don't okay. want any other explanation. Did your husband come home and say, our bedroom smells like sex? Yes. What was your response to why the room, now this is not a yes or no, mm -hmm. why the room smelled like sex? Well, my response was, um, are you crazy? I was working out, okay? I didn't have the AC on. It was a little humid. Okay, I was sweaty. So what? But that's the first that's thing you nice. think about when you come home is the fact that I had somebody in our bedroom while everybody's in this house. How crazy bizarre do you have to be? I mean, well, you gotta be a little delusional. That's really far out there. In terms of bizarre, it seems bizarre to me that you're working out with a house full of people. Right. I'm in my room. Hey, I can do that. I'm so you in got my room. friends that's and live. guests coming over no, to your house and you upstairs cousins, working no, out cousins, by yourself? No, my cousin stays at the house. My children were in their room doing their homework. I was in my room doing my squats, which is what I always do in my bedroom. So yes. you can get in shape to take the kind of pictures that we looked at? Yes. <laughs> Were you all always this contentious? I mean, have you always been fighting like this? Was there ever a time y'all were happy together? Oh, we. Oh, yeah. I think you got your answer. You all have been together 15 years. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Woo. And this, and this relationship is now utterly on the rocks. Yes, ma'am. Because you believe she's cheating. Yes, ma'am. Tell me why you believe she's cheating now. Now. She told me she was going out with friends one night, <sighs> and uh, I didn't believe her. So I, I decided to follow her with my friend. And so she went and met up with a guy. Wait, so you're, you're following her, you following her on foot or in a car? In a car. All right, and where does she stop? She stops at a restaurant. They meet up at a restaurant. What restaurant okay. do we meet and up at? So when you pulled up to the restaurant and you saw that she was getting out, going into this restaurant, what did you do? I really kind of, it kind of really, I didn't do nothing. It kind of broke me. You it never broke do. me. <laughs> well, I'm looking at you and your eyes are filling up. Just thinking about it. Just telling us the story. Oh, he's I love So he emotionally moment. wrecked you, didn't it? Yes, ma'am. And so, what happened? Did you ever talk to Miss Hughes about it? She came home the next day and she just brushed it off. The next day? The next day. So she was gone all night. Yes, ma'am. And as far as you know, she was out all night with this man you saw her at at the restaurant. Yes, ma'am. Miss Hughes. Hughes. Yes. <laughs> did you did you spend the night with another man? No, I did not spend the night with another man. Um, Have you I ever did go the out. night with another man? I did man? go out. Um, no, I haven't. I did go out and I did not come back home because he just had left and went to Myrtle Beach and stayed for two whole days. And I didn't know where he was. He did not call. He didn't leave a note. He didn't leave anything. He did not answer his phone, did not answer his text. So when he came back that Friday, you thought I was gonna stay home Friday night? Wrong. So yes, I was. And so you were mad at him for back. going to Myrtle Beach. So you went out and met another man at a restaurant. No, I didn't meet another man at a restaurant. Didn't come home but, the next that's day. the part that he put in that's in his delusional mind. He put the other man in there. Because first of all, even if I was to go out and be seen with another man or get out in the car, do you think he would really find me? Okay. Or really oh, so my able question, to track my me. question to you, Please. Ms. Hughes, is were you involved with another man? No, were you, you? No, I was not. No, man? I was not. Have you ever been since you've been married? No. It's a lie. Have you, you gone out with other men? Yes, I have. On day? We dates? wasn't together. Yes. We're married. If you and me are not living I together, I don't owe you anything, head, okay? You do, women, so not, not, you do it with other women, so you're not... You do it with other women. See other women. So what, you do it? Monkey see, monkey do? Do you have any other allegations of cheating, Mr. Hughes? Yes, ma'am. I was coming out the house, and she had this white boy come and see her. When I come outside, they outside. Over there on the side of the house, talking, gee, gee, they flirting. I know what he came to do. What man come to see a woman for nothing? 
So you yeah. believe something's going on with this man? I believe something is there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what's the nature of the relationship with this man? Well, this man only came into play, Miss Cutler, because he is a carpenter. So he fixes things on the house. So the front mm -hmm. door, which Chamel broke, needs to be fixed. Do you think I he broke. bothered trying to fix the door? No. So, yes, I called the white guy to fix the door. I shouldn't have I to gave call him to, fix the, to fix the door. No, you Mr. didn't Hughes. give me the money. Stop lying. He was not there to for talk any with other, you. Any, for any was other... Was the door reason? broken? No. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So, is your testimony that you did not have any kind of intimate relationship no, with none. the white guy who was a carpenter? None. None whatsoever. And this hush-hush talk that your husband saw was it's just in his, his mind. mind. Like you just made it up. Is. Yes, delusional. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Cutler, there's his side, there's her side, and in this case, it's the white carpenter's side. <laughs> He's here. Yeah, that's Why would this great man How are you doing? Good day, sir. How are you? I'm good. Would you state your name, please, for the court? My name is Michael Arledge. And Mr. Arledge, what is the nature of your relationship with Miss Hughes? We were just friends. We live in the same neighborhood. Like I said, she didn't need her door fixed. That's why she called me. And I went over there to look at the door. And when I went, me and her started talking, and she kind of telling me how they having problems and stuff like that. We just chit-chatted. We started vibing a little bit, hanging out and stuff. So, do you think when she told you she was having problems with her husband, she opened the door for you? Yeah. And you stepped in? Mm, not like that. I, I, you know, I spaced myself. I got respect. You know, she got stuff going on. And... But you stayed in the door. You didn't leave the door. Right. <laughs> you peeking in the door, you just ain't come in the door. Have you ever gone out with her on what I would consider to be a date? I took her out to dinner one time. Have you all ever gone to the club or partying together? Mm, we we partied together before. Mm. Just one, like, once or twice, or nothing like that. And all this time, you knew she was married? Yeah. She's telling me it's over. She That's what she's telling me. You liar. So, did you ever no, fix the door? It no, was. I did not. No, the door <laughs> still ain't <laughs> fixed. The door's still broken. The door's <laughs> open, the door ain't fixed. We got all kinds of doors. I think he was doing some other kind of woodwork. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, did anything happen between you two? I did not ever have any kind of sexual relations with that woman. Thank you. Okay. That, that sounds very Clinton esque, but. Did any kind of physical contact happen between you two? We kissed. We had a little made out. Uh, make out uh, we did not. Oh, no, we did not. He ain't lying. He tried to kiss me. Oh, okay? stop lying, I didn't kiss him. Let he the man talk. Me. It was mutual. We we kissed each other. Right. Wow. Yeah. We didn't kiss. Each you other. kissed so her. You she kissed took... you back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My wife. I think we've heard enough, Mr. Cutler. What we have here is that. Mr. Hughes claims he's found text messages which he shared with the court on his wife's phone between her and another man. He says that he secretly followed her, saw her go to dinner with another man. She didn't come back to the next day. And then the final thing is that uh, Mr. Arledge came to the house. He says to fix the door. One night when he dropped her off, they shared a mutual, passionate kiss. That is a lie. He's not lying. That I is a that lie. Is it was nothing passionate about that Mr. Hughes. It's not about what is. That is the testimony that we have today. And your husband has said, based on what happens here today, will determine whether or not you stay married. That's what he said. <clears throat> Am I right? Yes, ma'am. That is what is at stake. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to hear from certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort Mr. Williams in. Mr. Williams, good day. Good afternoon, Your Honor. You completed a polygraph examination on Mrs. Hughes, is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Hughes, during your 15 years married to Mr. Hughes, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone 
other than your husband. What was her response? Your Honor, she said no. What did the polygraph determine? On this question regarding Mrs. Hughes's fidelity for the last 15 years, oh. She was being deceptive. You asked Ms. Hughes, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Mr. Arledge? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the polygraph determine? On this question, there were significant and notable physiological responses, which indicated to me deception. You wanted to talk? Let's talk. Lie, 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 because that never happened. That polygraph is a lie, because I did not have sex with him. I know right. I did want to have sex with him. Mr. Williams... I want to have sex with him. I want, you to, li I want you to listen. Mr. <laughs> Williams, how many polygraph examinations have you conducted over your career? Over 900. When you say that there was a strong physiological response, what happens? What are you looking at? I look at all the indicators of the instrumentation that I had you hooked up to. Mm -hmm. Three of the four have significant responses. That indicates to me that you're being deceptive. Ms. Hughes? Yes. And Mr. Hughes, if you want this marriage to go forward, mm. you all are going to have to learn to be quiet and listen to each other when the other's talking. Mr. Hughes, you came here for answers. What do you want to do with this relationship? It's over. I'm done, yo. You all have been together for four years. You're married. But whether this marriage goes any further depends on what happens in this courtroom today. Is that right, Ms. Staves? Yes, Your Honor. You've opened this case. Tell us why. Um, I'm here because I'm, I'm for sure that my husband is cheating. I just called him, texting some chick, saying, I love you. So I looked over and I was like, you love somebody? And he was just like, oh, that's not what it is. You read it wrong. Like, I got two eyes. I can see. Two Who times. you tell her I love you to? Yeah, Honor, I wasn't... It wasn't even I love you. It was... It said I miss you. So who are you conversing with saying I love you, I miss you, or... Either one! What other term of affection you want to use? Oh, uh, it was a co-worker that I was working with. Unless your co-worker is her. And is, it wasn't. Is, it, is, it, is she your co-worker? No. no. Oh, come on, Mr. Staves. This is... This is... This is Couples Court 101. If you write a coworker talking about, I miss you, I love you, what else is she gonna think? I mean, I, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm you're, not. You, you're going by what your shirt says, not, not guilty. Not guilty, you gotta feel me, you know, so... Um... Have you had sex or any contact with this coworker, Mr. Stays? No, no, not really. I, I, I was... <laughs> I was... We, we might, we might, we might hung out and I might say some flirtatious stuff, maybe, you know, but... Have you kissed her? No. Have you touched her? Oh, uh, no, uh, I didn't. All right. So, Ms. Stays, you found us I love you text. What other warning signs have you seen? Um, well, we used to go on dates, like, every Friday. Now we... Had, like, ever since we got married, like, for the last three years, we haven't really... We haven't been on no dates. We used to have sex, like, two, three times a day, and now uh, we might have it once a week, if that... Okay, so here's the thing. No dates? You said no dates for the no last di three years? For three years. We've been on dates, but they seem like they, they're not good enough or, like, we just try to start trying to recently go out to, like, concerts and stuff, so I've be, I been wanting to be able to do that for her, you know what I'm saying, as she did, as she did for me before, you know? So I'm, like, trying to work on... Our it, last you know, date and... was a concert three years ago. That, and, you I, said... and I took him on that date. She said, ain't nothing, co ain't nothing to appreciate. She's like, there is no dating, so there's nothing for me to appreciate. Which makes me want to go, OK. Yeah, you like... said three... You haven't gone on one. You used to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. What was it like when you used to do this? What was, uh, the, we what used was to have the beginning fun, like? like? It used to be the time where he'd just, like, pop up at the house and be like, oh, I want to... I want to take you somewhere, or he'd be like, oh, I got a secret for you. And then it really, it like, two seconds later, he's like, okay, I can't keep it. I want to take you out on a date. This is what we're going to do. I end up getting pregnant with our oldest daughter. Ah. And um, a couple of, like, like, a year or two later, he, on Halloween, he proposed to me. Him and my daughter got on one knee, and she asked me would I marry her daddy. Oh, and, that's um, cute. That's how, that's how we met. That's how we became a couple and married. So it was kind of sweet. You all were Yeah, friends. we used to be really close and really had a lot of fun together and loved each other. And 
I don't know. All the fun is just gone. It just seems like we do just arguing all the time. And so, Mr. Stays, what it sounds like to me is when you were trying to get her, your game was up here. Yeah. And then once you yeah. got her, you kind of dropping your game a little bit. Uh, is that well, is that right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's it's not even right. It's not that's right, but. It's it's a lot of things that came with it. She did she did stuff like bleach my clothes, you know what I'm saying? And that was before I was even <laughs> cheating or anything. She she accused me of, of before a, you were cheating. Yes, yeah, she you know like before you were cheating. Yeah, like like you know what I'm saying? Before she Look, accused just... me of cheating. I'm sorry. That's why I meant to put it like that. Like uh, you, you sure you don't want to come to that? Come like, up a little bit. The old the it was a chick that we knew. You know what I'm saying? Both in the town that we moved to. And she thought I was still seeing her and everything. And I was. Because you asked about her. Because I you asked her about her. House. Yeah, I asked about her from a, about with my own friend. And it was just a uh, nonchalant. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, man, I used to, you know what I'm saying, know her like this and that. But I don't know if she still stay over there. That's how I said it. But he went back as if, you know, I was still looking for her. We went by her house and all that type of stuff. But it wasn't even that case, you know? So, Miss Stays, so why was, did you bleach his clothes? Because when I asked about it, he was lying. What did you ask him about? I asked him why he was trying to go. Why was he even worried about that girl? Like, you, I think well, he was over there seeing the girl. So, so I bleached when you, his clothes. OK, I got to say, once you bleach a man's clothes, he's going to be less inclined to want to check you out on a date. I'm just saying. I, OK, I'm, that was I'm like, not what have is the time it? To take out in. <laughs> it <too>. was. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure that out. He said he ain't got nothing to put. He got nothing to wear. <laughs> he got clothes to wear. <laughs> okay. So, we know you have these warning signs. Yes. These things that are making you think something's amiss. But what do you have that shows he's well, cheating? Um, well, one day I had... Like, he went missing and I couldn't, like, get a hold of him. So, okay. he told me where he was staying at. So, I called that person and was like, hey, is uh, DeAndre over there? He said no. So, oh. I called my homegirl and I was like, okay, something's up. You hold know. on, let me ask you something. Had y'all had a falling out? Um, we had an argument, yeah. Okay, so he yeah. is, he's left to cool off. Yeah. Or, All right. Or so, so he said. All right. And so I called my uh, my best friend. I was like, we it's a mission time, so let's you know suit up, let's go. It's what time? It's mission time. Mission, mission so. time. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Um. So my friend pull up. I was like, alright, we get in the car, and I was like, just. I was like, we were supposed to go to the store, and she wanted to go to the store way out. So I said, no, I want to go to the store closer by. And I'm telling you, it's God, because God works in mysterious ways in my life, honey. I pull up. Before I can even turn off my car, I see DeAndre coming out the store. And some, I, so I look beside me. It's a chick in this car. I said, so when he see me, he see my best friend, he already know what's going on. There's a woman in his car? Uh, no, in her car. It's in her car, but it was only two... It was only three cars. It was the car that pulled up with me and my car and this car aside. And here come DeAndre just strolling out. So he sees you. He seen me and he took off into the car. Well, I... He's I, running? I, yes, like, he kind of sped up because he knew... He <laughs> thought it was at the top. He ba so I opened the door. You opened the car door? Yes, and I drug him out. Oh. You physically drug him out of the car? Yes. Oh. How'd you do that? Did you grab him by the shoulders? No, I grabbed him by his hair. <gasps> oh, real dragon. Oh. She actually dragged you out of your car she by your hair. She dragged me out the car. I, I, didn't have to, <laughs> I didn't even see her. Like, I was... I, was, I came out on, on a whole different mission. But she'll swear up and down. She'll swear up and down that... You know what I'm saying? I seen her and I tried to run to the car and jump in. Mrs. Stays, for those of us who want to know, what happened next? We get back in the car, we leave. I can't get a hold of him. We not, like, he, he, he still didn't come home. He didn't go, like... You still didn't go home? After, after you caught yeah, red-handed, you didn't was, go home? The girl was my friend, you know what I'm saying? She, of course she was. She took... They she always sex, friends. She gave me a ride back and forth to work, you know what I'm saying? Trying to help me out, you know what I'm saying? Because I was... Is this the same friend you miss or slash no, love? No, it's not. Oh, it's a different one. It's a different... Different co-worker. Yeah, this... Have you ever told her you miss a lover? No, I didn't. I did not. Did she <laughs> see you get dragged out the car? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, baby, was yeah. scared. She circled... She circled back, you know what I'm saying, just to uh, see what's off. Oh, she pulled right. off and left you? Yeah, she... Oh! she pulled off. <laughs> Yo. Oh, she she didn't have no choice. Hold on. Mr. Oh, Cutler, she didn't have no choice. Mr. Cutler, she drags him out by the hair. 
homegirl leaves. He, oh, she didn't like, have no choice. Deuces. <laughs> but she did come back at some point. She's just like, to probably look and see if yeah. he was okay. Come, wait, just to, you okay? Yeah. Just, oh, this is yeah, she so just rich. trying to make sure I was cool, you know what I'm saying? Cause so you say nothing happened? Yes. You you are not guilty? Yes, Your Honor. Right. No, that, that, that's what you and your shirt say. Yeah. So we'll yeah that's what y'all say. Because I'm like... Have you caught your husband in any other, uh, yes. what's the word, compromising situations? Yes, I've caught him in several compromising situations. Uh, we had a neighbor, she used a hoe, and... <laughs> I, okay, I, here, I oh, understand sorry, how you Honor. feel. Oh, I, just, I feel you. I understand how you feel. But let's just call her... Uh, uh, the, uh, neighbor. Okay, the neighbor. The neighbor. The <laughs> neighbor. Okay, well, we have no, a, a... A special neighbor. Oh, yeah, she's special. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, we have a, a neighbor that's special. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want him around him. And so I was like, just so we don't have those kind of issues, just stay away from her, you know, just be... You know what I'm saying? Just if, if, if you don't want no problems, it won't be no problems if you just stay away from this person. But how um, you want me to practically avoid this girl at all costs in this small apartment? If I go up the... St if I come down the stairs or go ahead to work or if I see her outside, I got to... Turn around and I go the other around. way. You know what I'm saying? That, yes. it, it, it just seemed like, you know what I'm saying, it was a little more controlling than, you know what I'm saying, her you just, you know, respecting me or, 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 or trusting me, you know? Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Just one question. So you didn't mind her giving you a heads up about it? Right? Yeah. But what you didn't like is, and if you see her, I don't even want you to look at her, you come back in the house and she goes yeah, like, all that. Like, you I, didn't like we that. had a neighbor, we, me and my friend hung out with her and uh, the female, the special female and her cousin. They came over, you know, and I, it's not my house. It's, I, I can't tell them to leave or none of that. So I, was, I sat there for a minute and, and conversated with the owner of the house. And then I was like, all right, we got to go, you know what I'm saying, because they up here, you know? Well, later, I'm doing um, a neighbor's hair. How much later? Like, uh, like t two days later. It so was two like, days okay, later. like, two days later, I'm doing a neighbor's hair, and she's feeling me and how he was with the neighbor and the girls and all this stuff. And then when I come outside my house, like, to, I, I'm, I stopped doing her hair to ask them about it. He in the doorway with the girl that I told him don't be around smoking a black and mile or something, or smoking a cigarette or something. Right. Mr. Mr. Staves. Mr. Staves. <laughs> Mr. Staves, just can you crawl? Could you put your hand over that top part? Uh, <laughs> can you, oh, do you want to do I'm, that? No, because I'm, I'm telling you, you got to feel it. Look, I'm telling you, I'm not guilty. I, swear, I promise you that. Okay, okay. why are you with so this I, woman? Why are you with okay. the woman your wife is specifically saying? No! She opened the door. I was like, oh, I see how y'all doing it, how this going now. I'm like, I'm not even doing anything to her. I'm not hugged up with her. I'm not touching her on her. I, she kept just so happened to come outside and didn't have no cigarette to, to smoke or anything. So I and just let, gave her the let, black and I was going to get up and leave. let the girl go find the cigarettes. She know how to find cigarettes. She was finding cigarettes before she met you. <laughs> with her broke self. <laughs> Mr. Cutter, let's look at these accusations. We got... She found him in another woman's car and she dragged him out by the hair. My personal favorite. <laughs> Mine's too. She also told him specifically to stay away from this particular special neighbor. Then you've got that they've not been out on dates. Mm -hmm. Their sex life has decreased. And I'm sure because of sex life decreased, she's like, well, if he ain't doing it with me, who's he doing with? Right. Am I right? Right. And so... And this one-time happy marriage, friends with benefits, friends that become lovers, friends that become husband and wife, all of that is at risk. And if you find out he's cheating, you're done? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard because we got two kids together. I don't want to lose it, but at the same time, I don't want to be miserable either. All right. Well, in order to get to the truth, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ms. Sisko, good day. How are you? I am well. How are you, Your Honor? Doing fine. It's good to see you. Good. Good to see you as well. We've got Mr. and Mrs. Staves here trying to figure out whether this marriage is going forward or not. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. 
Well, I first had the accused write a witness statement and I analyzed it for any indicators of deception and truthfulness. And I studied their case file and I put together an interrogation strategy and then I interrogated Mr. Staves to see if he was cheating. As it pertains to Mr. Staves and this special female neighbor, uh, what did you uncover? When I asked Mr. Saves about the female neighbor, he told me that he was at an apartment of another tenant and the female neighbor showed up. Then he told me I was not trying to get up on the neighbor, meaning I wasn't trying to have sex with the neighbor. And while he was saying this, he was shaking his head no. So verbally he's saying no, non-verbally he's saying no. So that's congruent behavior, which is indicative of truthfulness. So you don't believe he slept with the neighbor? No, I don't, Your Honor. Because no indicators of deception. Okay, all right, so the fact that his behavior, what he was saying matched what his body was doing... Correct. ...is what you rely on to make that determination. Correct. All right. So what did you learn about the woman at the store where he got dragged out of the car? When I asked Mr. Saves about that woman at the store, he was very open with me. So again, providing a lot of detail, so I didn't have to probe for the information. And then he told me that he did have an affair with that woman, and it just ended a couple months ago. Ms. Daves? Yeah? You just heard from our <sighs> expert that your husband admitted he had an affair with the woman that you saw him with at the store. What's going through your mind? This is really embarrassing, and you could have been real with me. You know, I'm probably the only person that, uh, like, if you had been real, I would have understood. Like, if you gotta... Mr. Staves, I'm not sure you understand that marriage means one person, regardless yeah. of what's going on. And, and when you're in a marriage, when things are bad... I mean, everything ain't always been as lovely as you see with me and Mr. Cutler here. We've been married 30 years. But what you don't do is take those bumps to somebody else to take care of. You stay at home and say, look, I'm mad at you. I'm not happy with you. What are we gonna do about it? I did that before, you know, several times over, you know. Then it's... maybe you all don't need to be together. I mean, there's some... Because I... There's some marriages that just don't work out for whatever reason. 